Hello friends. Welcome back to the React Masterclass by my project ideas. And today we are going to see passing the states as properties and passing the state variables and state function as a properties inside the components and together with the properly. What are they? Don't worry about it. We will cover in depth. So now we will just directly jump into the code together with the practical example. And let us see, like there is an application, uh, there is a dummy application here. We can see that uh, this is the app component, the parent of the all parent components and which will which is running inside my browser currently this is displaying only hello as i have just defined the div hello here so what i'm going to do now is uh, i will define a use state variable so any variable called i can name it variable and the function to alter variable is set variable which will be a use state hook okay it is automatically imported here and we can have any initial value like uh, whatever it is uh, hello no something different like uh, my world okay so currently this uh, variable is uh, defined here okay just remove this hello and just place the variable here so inside the div inside the dynamic code block this variable is defined so you can already predict that this variable as an initial state with my world will be appearing on our application my world so that much is understandable right so what are we going to do is we are going to create a another children component so i have already created this children component here and inside this app we will use this children component. So first uh, import this children component. Import children. And then we will be using this children component in the enclosed tags. This is children. Uh, self enclosing tag because uh, this is not that complicated. Otherwise, uh, you can use the en uh, enclosed one, other enclosed one also. That's not a problem. We will go into this depth later. Okay. So I want like uh, I want to pass this data called variable into the children. It should not appear here. It should appear in the children. So that much is easy. that much is easy, right? We have seen in like how to pass the properties in the children components. So that that is easy. So for example, I can show you like. Uh, variable okay i can name it data and pass the variable and i will redeem this variable inside the children properties so make an object here inside this object i will have a variable oh, not variable data because we are passing it as data here inside the data we are passing the variable and here we are getting it so we have to use this data so instead of children, I will use this data here. So what will be the what will be the output on the browser? As you guessed, it will be my word again by two types. Uh, one for the children, one for the application. We can remove this one for now. Okay, let's just keep it. Uh, I will teach you why. Okay, now now it is simple like uh, we have passed this variable into the children and we have also see like we can pass some static thing inside this children also like uh, uh, hello so if we have passed some static thing then it will also work like my world and then hello but i am passing a variable here it can be changed so if this is changed then this is changed so if i define a button here okay with a line break and if i define a button here called change data or simply change and define an on click functionality inside i will pass an arrow function and inside of which i will say set variable to something else 
okay as you guess like inside we are inside the app component and if i click on the change both of the data will change because we are using the same data in the children and this one we are using the app so we can click only for a single time as you've guessed because uh, each time we click on this button it will be setting this data to something else so that's why so that much is also understandable right so if i just comment this code i mean or i just remove this code completely what i'm going to achieve is i want this button to be in the children so inside this children there will be a button if i click on that button i should be able to change the data here and also inside the app component in the parent component this children should be able to change the data inside itself and in the parent component so how we are going to do that so similar to the data we can also pass the functions here like uh, data changing function so whatever name you prefer you can uh, have that name here like i just uh, for the simplification purpose i just choose this name i have chosen this name uh, sorry for my grammar and i will pass this that variable here so this is function as we know this set variable we are passing in the data changing function so what is it so this is this function will change this variable okay and we can uh, redeem this function here data changing function that's simple and uh, with a line break i will have a button here button here and inside this button i will have change and on click functionality of this button i will pass an arrow function inside this and inside this arrow function i will uh, call data changing function so this is a simple function call as you can see but if we going to click on this button like okay let me refresh this thing so data is lost why because we are not passing any kind of value so it will consider it to be null or undefined so it is null so that's why it just disappearing initially it was my word and now it is disappearing as you can see back click on this change so we have to pass like uh, because we also pass this set variable some value right by which value this my world should be replaced so that's why we have to pass some value so, uh, so data changing function will just behave like this set variable function because we have told it like uh, this data changing function will be the set variable function so we will pass the value here like my world to hello hello world that will be uh, more easy so now if we refresh and we have seen like my world it is and if i click on the change it will be hello world both in the app component and both in the children component so this is how we pass the states into the children component so this is the children and this is the parent which is app component so that was it and now we will see like uh, we can also pass some any function just like the set variable is a function we can pass any function into the um, children so for example like const any function i just name it this because it is simply simply simpler to explain and uh, i will just uh, pass like uh, return hello written hello world 3 right and i will also pass this uh, another function as any function and i will redeem this another function here in the children like another 
function and i can call this another function anywhere for example uh, let me store this thing like uh, another function string is another function which i called and this will return this hello world 2 to this thing and we can pass this thing inside this data changing function another function string fine so now tell me what will be the output here if i click on change yes you guessed right it will be hello world 3 because this is the same function call like uh, this was for the set variable but this is the another function that we have defined in our component so this we have called it returned the value to this and this value we have used in our set variable function that is very simply simpler thing to understand okay so now we have already seen like what will happen and how to pass states as a props state function as a props so now we will see what is the prop drilling so let me just remove this mess again so that you can have a better idea and uh, let me remove this also make it simpler again so this is children again okay and here it is variable and okay fine also remove this any function and okay now it's good if i if i refresh this is my word it is just a variable we have defined here or the state variable we have defined here as a use state okay now we will see like how to pass or how, what is a property so let's just understand the property in first so it is used to describe the passing of props inside of children or the further grandchildren of the components so the level of passing props can go further and further it is infinite whatever you want with it like you can have 100 children and you can pass from first component to the last component so generally it is considered a good practice to pass not further than two components to keep things simpler and not make a uh, complexity a uh, model so this will because we don't want the code to be repetitive and for avoiding the prop drilling we use the global state management solution like redux to kids understand but they are more advanced topic that we will be covering them later so as by this diagram you have uh, understood like if i am passing the component props from the component 1 to component 2 then component 2 is the parent of component 3 so component 2 can also pass those props to the component 3 okay uh, this is a theoretical one now let us go into the practical one so for example like you have already seen what we how do we pass the props into the children here so i will uh, make a new component called grandchildren new file grandchildren.jsx i'll make a component here okay fine and inside the app we will i will use a children component okay children is already there i'll have a line break and i will have a children component okay so the children component is defined here and what if i want to pass this variable inside this children so it is again simpler so i will go to the children inside this children i will have an object in the properties i will pass uh, data okay so i can see it children data for keeping things more simple children data and we will use this children data here okay children data now go to the app and pass children data here children okay okay this spelling is mistake so just ignore it but you understand what the purpose what is the purpose of this children data 
and we will pass the variable here. So if we run our application, it will say my world, my world. Why? Because of this variable and this. Okay, just ignore this for now. If we see, it is my world only, and which is inside the children here. And now, what if I want to use this grandchildren also? So this grandchildren will be inside this children component. So let me just import it. Import grandchildren, and I will use removing this. I will be using this grandchildren. Okay. And if I run the application, the grandchildren will be here because app is containing the children, children is containing the grandchildren, and grandchildren is containing this normal text. And now I will pass, I will have a prop here called grandchildren data. And inside the children component, I will pass the grandchildren data to be children data. That's simple. So what we have done here, we have passed prop to the children component as children data. And now in the children, what it is doing is, it is passing that same children data to the grandchildren component as a grandchildren data. So that is how we are passing the data from this component up to the grandchildren component. As you can see, we have I have shown you the diagram. So that's how it's working. So let, let's just complete it. Inside the grandchildren data, we will have grandchildren data in the dynamic code block. Now let's just see, it is my world. The my world is going into the children component and this will further pass uh, to the grandchildren and grandchildren will use this here. So the my world thing will be appearing here. So let us see. Okay, my world is coming here. It means our thing is correct. So I have shown you like uh, how the component prop drilling will work. And congratulations, now you know how to pass the functions and uh, data as a used or the used state hooks as props. Okay. And uh, I have also shown you like how to pass a normal function into the children components also. You can also pass that into the prop filling, no matter. Thank you for seeing this tutorial till now. And uh, in the next video, we are going to cover what is a use ref hook and how to use it and when to use it.